Hello everybody, welcome to Sin City Living. Jason here with today's video. And today's video is gonna be a fairly simple one. We're just gonna talk about the don't come. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about whether or not you should put a lay on the don't come and the don't pass. Whether or not you should put a lay. Should you or should you just stick with your flatbed? And there's definitely two schools of thought on this and I'm gonna cover both. I'm not gonna cover why or you know say one is better than the other. I'm just gonna tell you the schools of thought and let you make your own decisions on that. Don't forget to, to join our Discord server. Just uh, check the link down below and uh, you know, chat about strategies, chat about the videos, give me suggestions for videos. So you do see a lot of people that will do a don't come and wherever it may travel to, I mean, I already have a point. So wherever it may travel to, they may or may not put a lay. So the question becomes, should you or should you not, and why or why not? So for those that, that have the tendency, that, that have the desire to put a lay on every bet, here is the reason why. You have made it past the most dangerous part of a don't come. You've made it past the don't come itself. To a number. This is the most dangerous spot. You've got eight ways to, to lose, three ways to win. Anything else travels. So that is a dangerous, dangerous, dangerous spot to be in. Once you get behind a number, regardless of the number, be it six and eight, five and nine, four and ten, once you are behind a number, the odds favor you. The odds favor this bet. No matter what the number is, there are always more ways to, to throw a seven than there are to throw that particular number. So People that always do a lay, let's say maybe $60, right? Or even just do one that caps. Some people will always just do a bridged lay. Regardless of how much you want to do, the reason that they say that these people will do one is because the odds favor them. They've already made it to where they are trying to go, which is behind a number. So now they just want to maximize how much they win. Some people will choose not to do a lay on the six and eight, but will choose to do one on a five and nine or a four and ten. Because they're a little bit scared of the fact that they are only a six to five favorite on sixes and eights. Six ways to win, five ways to lose. So they get a little bit scared on that. That's understandable, that's perfectly fine. What you don't want to do is you don't want to do, do a no action kind of thing. If you can get behind a number, get behind the damn number. The odds favor you no matter what. No matter what, the odds will favor you. But when you're in the don't come itself, the odds do not favor you. So, stay behind the number. Never, 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 no action it. So what about players that don't do a lay? Some players will never, ever, ever do a lay. Well, let's talk about that. But first, real quick, uh, if anybody out there, if any of our fans out there want to support us, uh, the family, as a family, we started a new channel just based around our biggest passion as a family, which is books, books, authors, stuff like that. So it, we'd really appreciate it if you would check us out, give us a, a subscribe, or, or um, even watch a couple of videos, drop a comment. Um, you know, no pressure, but you know, if you'd like to support us, if you're interested, check the description of the video down below. Now, why would a player choose not to do a lay. Well, let's look at it. So, let's say you got $100. You could do green also. I, I just like to change the bet up since I'm, I'm changing the description here. So, you do a don't come. You know, let's say you got two people. Each one of them doing a DC. And say the five rolls, right? So the five rolls. So you've got one player that says, you know, ah, let me go ahead and do a lay. Let me go ahead and lay it for 150 because 150 will pay 100. So, that would be a bridge. Then you got the other player that does not do the lay. Here's the interesting thing about this. In the grand scheme of things, if both of these players played consistently four or five times a week for a few hours at a time, for a year or so, there's a pretty good chance that they're both in the end going to win or lose almost the exact same amount of money. Now, why is that? Because of this. The lay itself. Now, should the seven out occur, this player right here wins $200, while this player wins $100. But, here's the thing. The lay itself is an even money bet in the grand scheme of things. Because there is zero house edge on this lay. Let me uh, put this out where you guys can see it. I know it's not quite in the DC. But, because um, there is zero house edge on a lay, 
That means that over the grand scheme of things, over a long period of time, it evens out. Nobody wins, nobody loses on the lay itself. No house edge. For instance, on the five, you're a three to two favorite. Three ways to win, two ways to lose. Right? So let's say you win this three times. Your lay, you would win 200 bucks, or I'm sorry, 300 bucks off of a $150 lay. Three to two, right? So if you lose it twice, you would lose 300 bucks. Because it's true odds, in theory, over time, nothing will change. It's all the same. So why do some players not do the lay? Because they don't like the idea of betting more to win less, and I completely understand that. They've already made it past the most dangerous part of the table, the most dangerous part of the game. So now they're going to go ahead and just take their even money win. The odds favor them. Here they'll get paid even money. So a lot of players that don't do lays tend to do a higher don't come. You have a lot of players that play the don't come that might do a quarter or $10 or $15 and put lays in. Then you got other players that might put a $400 don't come and do no lay because they want to get paid 400 bucks. They want to get bet 400 to get paid 400. They don't want to bet 300 to get paid 200 or get paid 150 or get paid 250. They want to get paid what they bet. So there you go. That's the two schools of thought on whether or not you should lay a don't come. Again, up to you, can't tell you either way, your choice. Hope you guys find this interesting, illuminating, enlightening, or at the very least, just plain fun. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now. Thank you everybody for watching today's video. And as promised, a little bit more detail on things that we are working on. So again, we want to, uh, we want to continue trying to expand the channel. We're really hoping to be, add, to be able to add roulette as soon as possible. And then some video kino, video slots, stuff along those lines. Um, unfortunately, it ate up almost all of our cash, um, paying off all of our bills during the month of January, January while we were down. And uh, now that the holidays have ended, um, YouTube's uh, payouts have dropped significantly. So uh, we're kind of treading water here uh, as far as all that goes. Do have a lot of things we want to add, though. Not just those, those things, those, those additional games, and hopefully some carnival games and such, such like that, but the live streams. The biggest problem right now with the live streams is with three jobs combined between the two of us, four if I include the, the 20 to 30 hours a week I'm putting into the YouTube channel. Um, it's very, very difficult for me to have a day and time that I can commit to doing the live stream every single week because we also have our, our very young child to, to take care of. But I'm trying to figure that out. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably gonna end up being on, on Monday nights or Tuesday afternoons or possibly both. I intend to do at least one live stream exclusively for our patrons and then another one on the YouTube channel. So possibly both both days. Um, we also have a few other things that, that we really want to attempt to move forward on. I'm just running into to either time or skill set issues. I do want to eventually have a, a website going for us. Um, I did used to program websites a long over a decade ago. A lot of things have changed and I just don't have that time. Um, and uh, not a whole lot of knowledge on the current state of, of um, building websites, hosting site, you know, what, what sites can host and, and uh, uh, how to build up, you know, the e-commerce stuff. So if anybody has any skill sets along those lines and would like to answer some questions uh, or just help us out, shoot us an email, sincitylivinglv at gmail.com. Um, also, I really hope to be able to start adding some, some uh, fairly ex some exclusive stuff from Sin City Living, uh, logoed shirts, hats. I'm looking to get uh, custom dice made, even custom, custom layouts made, although those would be pretty expensive. Um, but I know zero about e-commerce and drop shipping and uh, anything along those lines. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area, please email me. Uh, I, would, I would love to ask you some questions and uh, see, if, uh, see if you can answer, answer a few to help me figure out how to get that going. Um, same thing with uh, with designing our logos. You know, I, I I had the logo had some logos designed, very very small logos, unfortunately, not big enough to blow up to put on T-shirts and stuff like that. And again, I know next to nothing. Not next to I know nothing about 
um, logo design, graphic design, any kind of websites that could that could do it. Um, I, I literally know nothing. So if you have any skill or knowledge in that area also, please email me and you're willing to ask, answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. I, uh, uh, I'll admit I don't even know where to start as far as asking some questions, but I'm sure I'll, I'll ask a few and that'll trigger a few more, so on and so forth. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And, and uh, of course, we do hope to continue to improve our AV setup, but I am an AV moron. So also right there, if you have any skill sets or knowledge in that area, please email me and, and are willing to answer some questions. Please email me and, uh, and let me know. We would love the help. Uh, otherwise, again, thank you, everybody, for watching. And we're very excited to continue bringing you our videos. Bye now.